record and share my screen. So I want to preface this call with, this is very, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, not that. I have a lot going on. Very uh, training heavy, I would say. But I know when I was a newer coach, I, I was just like, just tell me what to do. <laughs> like, just give me the stuff. What should I post? What should I say? I will take it. I'll make it my own and I'll go. Like, so that's what I want to bring to you tonight. I just want to give you practical things that you can start implementing tonight if you're not going to pass out right after this or first thing in the morning that you can go with um, and leading I named it leading boldly with the total solution pack um, and not being shy of just you know telling people yeah here's these workouts oh and then there's the shakeology like no it is all together it is the best deal and like how to present that confidently um, to everybody everyone that is around you so uh, I just had, I'm on my fourth postpartum journey and I feel like I just kind of got reignited with the total solution pack and of how of like, oh my gosh, like this is what every time I take a progress picture, I'm just like, this really works. Like four or five years into coaching, I'm still like, this still works. Like I can't believe it. And I, you know, I, I know it does work, but just to go through it again, I kind of feel like I just have a new spark, um, for the to total solution pack. And I feel like people, and when you have that spark, that carries into everything. It carries into your social media. It carries into your conversations. It carries into your challenge groups. So I want to give you guys, um, yeah, just my step-by-step -step of how I go through my journey, social media, the conversations that you might have, what they might look like. Obviously, a lot of them are going to be different and then helping them get results. So this is going to be training heavy, but at the same time, take bits and pieces from it. I will share this document into the team page. I just want, I want to give you something tonight that will spur you into action instead of just being like, well, shoot, I got to redo everything. Like just take a couple things and go for it. Okay. This one, this is good. The first, I have five steps for you tonight. So the first step, total shocker, right? Go. So leading boldly with the challenge for total solution pack is going all in with the total solution pack. So number one, I have five things that I go all in with when I do it. Number one, picking a program, like picking a program and sticking with it from beginning to end. I know if you've been a coach for a while, you're like, yeah, 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 I know it, but it is, it's the number one game changer for people, not only for yourself, but for your people to see that when you commit to something, you do it. And that, that way they know like, oh, if I'm going to, if I'm going to do this, like I need to pick a program and not like, oh, I'm going to do this here, this here, this here. So it just kind of sets that tone from the start. Of course, if you start, like you get two weeks into morning meltdown 100 and you're like, this is not for me, like change courses. Like that's okay. I'm not saying like you have to start it and complete it, but always just sticking with a program that makes you excited is always been the biggest difference for me and my energy levels when I am doing this. Taking before photos, progress pictures, like this, again, is not fun. I get it. And I, first off, I want um, you to drop in the chat because I don't want this just to be me. Drop in the chat when the last time you took a progress picture was. Because that is probably something you should be doing monthly. Today, nice. So how long ago was that, Brittany? When's the last time? Two weeks ago. Oh, yes, the test group. We have three coaches on our team who are in the fire and flow test group. So that is super exciting. They start tomorrow. Oh, those postpartum picks. Ooh, they're, yeah, they're necessary. You know what, Kyla, too? I wish I would have taken more, to be honest. Like, I probably have like five or six that I have and like some I haven't shared yet, but I'm like, I wish I had more. And I wish I had more in like different articles of clothes. A lot of them I took in like sports bras and shorts. I wish I like, I would have done it in my jean shorts or my jeans um, because it's going to work and you're going to get bomb results. So it's like, I, I wish I would have shown like some of those more real life things. Okay, good. So a few things with the before picture. 
that I think is just really, really key. Make sure the lighting is good. An easy tip for this um, is to get a window or a lamp. So right over here, I have this really big window. So I always put my phone on a tripod and I face it towards me. So all of the light is shining on me. That's why these two pictures in the picture right there, I'm really bright. You know, I'm not like dull. It's not grainy. It's not kind of hard to see. Like make sure they're bright and will catch people's eye. Another tip I want to talk about with even before pictures and even how I actually take 90% of my pictures. If you didn't know that, my husband, he takes some pictures and he's a pretty good picture taker, but other times I'm a home alone a lot. I put my um, camera on video mode. I make sure it is facing me. So it looks like I'm taking a selfie, but it's on video mode. I have a little $20 Amazon tripod that I put. I put it in front of a window and then I stand back and I just like, it feels really awkward, but you will get great pictures from it. And it's worth doing it. Like I have been like out of one video clip, I have gotten so many pictures that I use over and over and over again. Um, so put it up, press play, and then go strike some poses. I know it feels silly. No one's watching. Like, just know that these will be worth it down the road. I even with my postpartum journey, or you could do it with any journey, like you fire and flow ladies, like take a video and like, of like you, you know, facing the camera, turning, doing your back, turning to the other side. And then when you're done with fire and flow or done with your next program at that very end, take that same video and then put them side by side. Like that stuff is so powerful. So, so powerful. So just a quick tip on before pictures. Okay. Um, and if you, what did you say? If you have 4k option on your phone, click that for your video. Oh, I don't have that on my phone. I have like, I need to get a new phone by the way. So you can do this with a really janky phone too. You guys, this is, does not need to be fancy. Um, number three supplements every day. Like if you're going to talk the talk, you got to walk the walk, not like, Oh, I'm going to take a half scoop of my Shakeology. Oh, maybe I'm going to skip Shakeology over the weekend. You know, it's not like, I don't really need it then. Or I just got too busy. No, every day. And I say Shakeology because that is something we should be having every day. And I personally always lead with Shakeology whenever I'm talking to someone, because I truly believe it is the one thing in our job, in our business that makes us stand out over everything else. There's great workouts at other places. There's great workouts at gyms and Peloton. And, you know, there's all these new things coming on. There's pre-workouts that can be clean in other places. There's tea cravings. I'm currently drinking my bevy at other places. There's bars, but no one has something like Shakeology. And I fully and firmly believe that. Like it is what brings success apart from anything. So if you're going to commit to anything a day, make sure it is Shakeology. Um, and then of course I use like everything under the sun right now under Beachbody. I think I had, I had today greens, bevy, hydrate, energize. Um, what is the bevy focus? Like I'm a beach body. I just like consume beach body stuff and still I eat real food. So walk the walk when you're, or talk with, walk the walk when you're going to talk the talk. Yes. That's what I want to say. And then four dive into nutrition. If you have not listened to the national wake up call that is all on nutrition this week, it is so good. So, so good. And if you're like, ah, I, I'm good on my nutrition, you still need to go listen to it because she really nailed in some great points. So I'm not going to go too far into that. Um, and number five is post in your challenge groups. You either need to be showing up in your own challenge group, like the best challenger every day, or into your coach's challenge group every single day, because that's where the results and the accountability are going to happen for you, but also your future clients and coaches. And if you are not training yourself right now to dive into a challenge group every single day, then you're, you're just missing that huge accountability piece um, that you want people to do when they start, right? If you're not doing it, that person's not going to do it. So just always think of the things you need to be the very, it's not saying you have to be the best of the best, but you need to be doing the things that you want people to do. So hopefully that all makes sense. Number two, sprinkle Beachbody into social media. I say sprinkle because it's not all Beachbody. We are not like a walking Beachbody billboard. They have marketers that get paid thousands of dollars to do that. We market our life, 
our lifestyle, who we are as a person, and then beach body, our little workouts and our shake and our energize. Those are the little TV commercials throughout our day that we share. Um, I once heard someone say, people should know every time you start a new program or what week you are on. So right now I want everybody, I know today's kind of a weird day because it's Sunday. It's probably a lot of you probably had a rest day, but tomorrow, or think back to Friday. If I was to go look at your social media, would I know that you are ending week five of your 10 or of your boxing program or that you are in week three, I just finished week three of your 20 minute strength training program or would I know where you are in your workouts? So tomorrow, and what I want you to write in the chat right now, and because I want you to use this, you're going to copy and paste it into a note on your phone. Right now in the chat, I want you to type in Whatever week you are starting tomorrow, whether it's week one, week two, week three, week five, week six, week 100 and something, like week one, I'm on week three tomorrow and two of my mashup calendar. So I'm going to put week, let's go week two of my mashup calendar. Or you can, and I don't want you to use beach body words because this is what people do all of a sudden when you say, oh, job, week two of job one. First off, they're going to be confused as heck. Second off, they're going to go Google job one, and then they're going to go see that, oh, it's Beachbody. She's one of those things. I'm going to write it off. They're not, even though they're interested, they're not even going to come to you and ask you questions. So week four, oh, but don't put job one. Don't put MBF. I don't want the Beachbody words. No Beachbody words. Week one of what? what? How could you word your program so that they know you like what you're doing? So if it's job one, you could say week one of my 20 minute strength training program, let's go. And that is what I want you to share in your stories when you, whenever you do it, like that's what you need to say. So they know, like she knows exactly what she's doing, exactly the week she's on. She's not like Pinteresting things, YouTubing things, like she has a plan and I'm going to watch her do this week and I'm going to watch her do next week. And then I'm going to watch her finish it and I'm going to see the results. Like that's how like crystal clear you need to be to people, but without using the beach body words. Ooh, yes, I love that. Week six, strength training, let's go. And now whatever you put in there, like copy that, put a note in your phone. At least that's what I do. And like, because I work out like 6 a.m. in the morning, like I can barely form a thought then for myself right now. So then I can go to my notes on my phone. And when I'm like half awake, I click copy. I take my boomerang with my energize. I hit like what I said the night before I post it. I do a few workouts, like boom on with my day. This is not something that should take a long time. So we, everybody should know at least what week you are on, or maybe if you're doing a 21 day thing, like you could say, Hey, I'm on day 11. Okay. Um, more, a few more things with the social media, what to share, at least to sprinkle in the five things that I said you need to commit to. So your program without the beach body words, and I like, so if you need help with beach body words, drop it in the comment because I, I, I can help with that. I love like for MBFA, I call it my CrossFit style because that's what it is for 10 rounds. I call it my boxing style um, for morning meltdown 100. I call it like strength training, cardio for transform 20. I like to call it a six week shred. So if you need creative things with it, like just drop it down in there because that's what people will get them interested because they're like, well, what exactly is she doing? And then they'll come to you instead of just Googling it. Um, number two, share those before photos. I know it's nerve wracking or what you could do, what really grabs on your audience's attention. And Kyla, I'm thinking of you as you like go and gear up for your six weeks um, to share that. Like you could take those photos and then whenever you take them, like put like a box kind of around that like blacks out the middle part you know, of the photo and say like work in progress or like results coming. And like that show that like gets your audience attention so much of like, whoa, this girl is about to do something. This mom is on a mission. She's committed. I'm excited to see where she's going to go with it. Okay. Number three is your supplements. Again, I avoid using the beach body words. I mean, I'm personally five years into this. So like a lot of people who follow me know it's Shakeology, but I still to this day, I call it superfoods. You know, every week, month they see me with my brand new bag of superfoods, dumping it into my canister. So they see that I am walking the walk that I am talking. I'm not just saying, yep, I drink this every day. And then 
you know, it takes me three months to go through a bag. Like I am showing them that I am empty every single month because it isn't in my body. Like I, and I love it and I'm proud of it. Um, and the same thing with liquid gold or energize. We have so many nicknames for that. Mama crack, unicorn juice. Um, I can't think of anything else. Those are the main ones. Um, nutrition, instead of calling it like the ultimate portion fix, I like calling like it a portion plan for to be mindset. You could call it like the plate it method um, or intuitive eating. And then again, you can share in your stories like like, hey, now I'm going to go check in with my challenge group. You could even snapshot the post you made in your challenge group or like the challenge that day and share it to your stories to show people like, oh, she has this like group that she checks in with every day. So like help people connect the dots. So I just gave a few um, picture ideas to go along with it. All right. Step three, the conversations. So it is great. And I will be the first person to admit this. My first year of coaching, I did step one and step two. That's it. And maybe step three, like when I felt like it. And you know where that got me as a business builder who was all in, who wanted to replace her teaching income and like make a huge business out of it. After my first year of coaching, by only committing to myself, which was awesome, and sharing on social media, I shared all the time but I didn't do this step. It left me as an Emerald coach with no one working and not a lot of commission. I was barely hitting success club. I don't think I was ever hitting success club consistently my first whole year, but that's because I never took it the step further. So starting conversations. So I'm going to just share with you really quick, my three main invites. Um, I have three ones that I generally invite to. I invite to people that are liking my posts. I invite to people who are watching my stories and I invite people who are clicking on my polls, even if it's an accident, because I put up a poll every single day in my stories, inviting them to join this opportunity because I never know if someone is ready. And why would I not just put, take two seconds to put up a poll and I might miss someone who is actually ready that day and desperately needs what we have to offer. It takes two seconds to put up a poll or like a questionnaire or slide this. Like don't miss doing that. If it's not every day, at least make it like three to four times a day. Um, so here's a quick one. Hey, Ashley, just wanted to thank you for support on my post yesterday. I know it takes two seconds to click like, truly means the world. Not sure if you wanted more info, blah, 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 blah. You can see. So at least it's just getting started. Or if you're not comfortable with that, especially if you're a brand new coach, you could just reach out and say, hey, thank you so much for like liking my pose. I was super nervous to share about it. So I just really appreciate it. How are you? Like start a conversation, use social media to be social, not just to share things, but start those personal conversations. Um, here's the one for my stories. I keep this one super short and sweet. Hey, Jen. Wanted to say thank you for long, following along my journey. It means so much. I'd love to extend an invite to you for my spring boot camp. Might not be a fit for you. Are you open to hearing the details? Okay, if they're watching my stories, then they're going to be, I mean, this shouldn't be a shock that I'm giving them this message if I'm walking the walk and talking the talk, right? Like they should expect me to like say, hi, I see you there. It's like awkward if we don't say anything. It's like me walking into um, the Apple store and like, no one comes to me. Like, what's the first thing when you walk into like a MacBook store or an Apple store or Best Buy, like people are like, okay, how can I help you? Like, that's the same thing when people are watching your stories. It's an open invitation to be like, hey, I see you. I have something that I could help you. And then my last one that I, you, I do it often. And sometimes people just click my stories by accident. Awesome. Like, that's awesome because you know what? A whole conversation can open up by the, if they say, oh shoot, sorry, it was an accident. Then I'm like, oh, no worries at all. Are you currently doing anything for your health and fitness? I'm always curious what moms can do, other mamas can do. Like I always keep the conversation somewhat going by asking just questions. So those are just very easy ways I'm having those conversations because if I'm just doing the first two steps and missing this one, your business is gonna go only so far. Okay, tip four. Actually, let's, and I call this the unsexy stuff. I could probably I could have named number tip three, the unsexy stuff, but this isn't like the post. This isn't the, yay, I got results. This isn't the pretty energize and shakeology. Like this is the stuff that 
it makes this a business. It's the unsexy stuff that makes the sexy stuff, right? So I'm just going to share with you really quick how I start talking to people and how I go through the whole challenge pack or like explaining their total solution pack. And I also have this all written out in a Google Doc form in our team page too. And I will post all of this stuff, but I know we have, our team is growing all the time. So I just want to bring it back up. And one more thing before I share it too, like make sure like how I share this might be totally different than how you share this. So always just make sure you're not just copying and pasting how I talk to someone might be totally different than how you talk to someone. So then people can tell that they can tell if like, whoa, that doesn't sound like Dana at all, or that doesn't sound like Maddie. Like that's not how she talks. So always make sure it talks like you and to use your personal experience. So let's say like someone is like, I sent that invite and they're like, sure, I would love to hear more. So this is my first response. I always go to their goal. And I know sometimes people are like, oh, well, like, don't you just want to tell them all about the total solution pack? I kind of find taking that step backwards pays off big time long-term, like slowing the conversation down and actually getting to know them. Because especially in the season I am in my business of like, I'm getting people started that I don't know who they are. Like, I don't know their family. I don't know like where they live. I don't know anything about them. So I'm like, I just want to know, like, are you on a current health and fitness journey? Like maybe they're rocking CrossFit. Maybe they haven't worked out in five years. How am I going to know that if I never stop to ask, I ask about their fitness and I ask about their nutrition. So like, don't be afraid to ask those questions from the start. And if they're like, and I always just like to say too, like, Hey, this just helps me better understand how to help you. So find their goal. I mean, it takes two seconds. And if they never get back to you, it just kind of shows you where they are at with things. Um, number two, then whatever they tell me, a lot of times people unleash a book. <laughs> Not all, every time, but a lot of times I'm like, whoa, like that was a lot. And that just shows me like, yeah, there is a big need here. I try and relate to their struggle. Um, so I just, in this example, I put, I, this was a conversation that I just had with someone yesterday hey, she told me about that she had late night snacking issues and that she's she's a breastfeeding mom too. So I was just able to relate with her on a bunch of levels. So I always try and relate with them. And then I always like to ask one more time, like, hey, would you like to hear more? Like how it all works then? Like, I think you would really like it. And just again, to hear them say, yes, I want to hear it. And then I break it down and I use four things. I have a little snippet for Bob. In my own words, I have a little snippet that explains Shakeology because that's personally what I lead with. I have a little snippet that explains the accountability group and the meal plans they're going to get. And then I always use a third party tool that just shows them like that, like I'm legit, right? Like this is a legit opportunity. So usually it's a little video. Sometimes when it was job one, I had that Megan made this awesome Canva document that we were just able to send people with like the transformations and the sample workout. I use that a ton. So always use a third party tool um, to help explain things because sometimes people want to hear it from you, but sometimes they'd rather click on a two minute video and then be like, oh, this sounds cool. I'll do that. Um, so really quick, I'm not going to read all this again. I have all of these words in, but like, I have like perfected for me, like the, how I explain bot. And I try when I'm explaining it to someone, I heard the girl in the national wake up call say that like, she explains it to them. Like they're the grandma. I always have told people like explain it. Like you're explaining it to a second grader. How would a second, would a second grader be able to understand what beach body on demand is if they read this? You know, something super simple, super short, not overwhelming. I talk about the supplements. And then, you know, you'll notice here, I said, you'll also get a month supply. I don't say this has changed for me in the past for maybe a year. I used to say like, you can also add on Shakeology. No, I say, you also get like, just like, because this is what I'm leading with. This is what I'm sharing every day. And if I'm sharing these things, they should not be surprised that they're going to try out a shake or that they're going to try out this energized because they see me sharing those things every single day. It should not be a surprise at all. It should be like a wake up call for you. If they're like, what is that? Because that shows you that you're not sharing it enough. Okay. And then I talk about the groups, just a super short snippet of what the groups entail, what I do in those groups, how it will benefit them. 
this right now and I'll stop my screen really quick. I love this. This is also in our team page. This is a great like two minute um, video that goes over bod groups. I'm going to even play it really quick, like maybe just a minute of it. And like, you'll see how much energy and how much fun this lady is. And even if someone skims through all what I just sent them, but they listen to this, like this is what usually gets people interested. Hey guys, are you looking to lose some weight or build muscle? Maybe you just want to feel better? It doesn't have to be complicated. What I want to share with you guys today is Beachbody's total solution for getting healthy. It's an all-in-one package that covers nutrition, fitness, and support. Everything you need in one place. I'm telling you, real people everywhere are hitting their goals like never before. And I'm going to break it all down for you right now. First off, nutrition. Okay, so you can just see, like, that explains it's so well and it doesn't leave you like fumbling and having to say like oh I, I have to figure out everything that's in shakeology or energize or recover like this just helps connect all those dots where's my canva document somewhere nope nope <laughs> there it is okay okay so the next thing and then of course they ask about cost, right? Like any normal human, like, actually I've had a few girls lately who are just like, ready, get me signed up, I need this. I'm like, this is awesome. But the majority of people are like, all right, how much does this cost? Tell me about that stuff. I just say, of course, you'll get everything you need in a challenge pack, total solution pack. Sorry, they've changed it. It always used to be challenge pack until like the last six months. And now they change it to total solution pack. So if you hear those two things, challenge pack, total solution pack, it's the same thing. I just like to break it down, your access to bond, first month supply of Shakeology, group access. I personally, for my groups, I require a total solution pack. If they choose to just do Beachbody on span, I'm like, okay, that's great. Just so you know, you can upgrade in 30 days if you feel like you would like the group support and like to try out Shakeology. Um, I pour a lot into my groups. They get a lot in those if they lean in. So, you know, it's one of those things is like, don't just hand out your services for free. And BOD is such a steal of a deal um, that most people will go for it. And then I always like to send a pricing graphic when I explain it because I'm a visual person and a lot of people just need that visual. Um, when they're like, all right, let's go. All you need to do is send them, get your, their email, what package you like. I like to save them, send them this flavoring graphic and all of that. And if after all of this, they're still like, yeah, that I don't, I don't think so at least now they know everything, right? Now they know what it all entails, what exactly you're doing, what exactly the cost is, so that when they see you in six months still showing up and rocking your journey and you have shown them that like this is long-term and this is a lifestyle that works and that you're not going anywhere, then they'll be ready. Like you have to remember that this a lot of times the first time people might hear all this information, it might not be the right time. You know, asking people to change their whole way of, um, you know, their health and nutrition is a lot. It's not just leggings. It's not just makeup. It's not just skincare. Like this is, might be a super, super hard and emotional and lots of failure and fear attached to it. So just know if someone's ready, that's okay. Not ready, that's okay. Check on in on the next month. If they give you a reason like, hey, the cost is just too much, I'm totally, I always just say, totally understand, would not want this to, you know, hurt your finances at all, because we wouldn't, maybe next month might be a better time. Or maybe in a couple months, it'll work out better if you're so interested. And then I check up both under the next month. So we're not going to go into follow-ups or anything like that. Um, my tip number five, pulled up this photo of Dana, it was the last progress photo on my phone but it also it's just such a good so cool like get them results right and I think back to like this is what we're all here for we got our results now it's like now we get to help other people with results so I just I don't want you to miss this crucial step like to don't just get them signed up okay got to go find the next person like okay how can you be intentional about getting them results I do a few things I get just super excited for them like, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to do this with you. Because one, I am excited. I just 
sold a challenge back. I'm getting a commission. They are getting this thing that they have no idea will change their health journey if they let it. So I just get so excited for them because they're probably ha already having like buyer's remorse. They're scared. They're fearful. But if you're excited and you're like, hey, I'm here with you. Let's do this. Let's pick out a program. Let's go. Um, I have a welcome guide that I send people. I know other might have like a one thing spreadsheet that like where it's just like pick out a program, start Shakeology, recipes, um, but what send them something so they, they kind of just don't feel lost all of a sudden. Get them plugged into either your challenge group or your coaches, shout them out, um, like let them feel heard and seen and part of the community. Um, and then for me, I know I check in with them. Um, almost like, especially if they're brand new to everything, it just kind of depends on the person, almost like every few days that first week, I make sure once they're Shakeology again, I'm like, tell me when your Shakeology gets it. All right, how did you make it that first time? How was it? Because a lot of times people butcher their Shakeology, right? Like they make it with water or that they make it super chunky and it's like, that was disgusting. It's like, okay, like, let's take a breath. It's not bad. Don't throw all the bag away. Like, so just being super intentional of making sure that you're helping them do what you said that you were going to do. But then kind of after that first month, now they know, like now they know the things I'm not, I'm probably checking in with them maybe every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, they're in the groups, they know things. Um, so just know it's not like I'm doing that all the time. And then I personally, I kind of go back and forth with the preferred customer and coach. Sometimes I present that right away when I'm talking to someone like, hey, just so you know, you could sign up as a preferred customer or coach. Or sometimes I wait until they get started. If I know like they're just already super scared, I'm not going to rush them into something. I at least let them know like, hey, if you're loving this, let's get you signed up as a preferred customer so you can get that discount moving on. Okay, I feel like I've been talking a million miles a minute. Um, action steps. So, and I put question marks because I think I was going to put action steps down, but I want you to take some action steps with this. So I think the one I always think of is like a call like this, that is just jam packed full of training. I get can be super overwhelming, but what I want you to do again, like you already have your first Instagram story ready for tomorrow. All you gotta do is do a boomerang or a picture or a quick little video. Um, think, I want everyone just to make it a goal to help one person. One person get started with a total solution pack this week and just start a lot. If you're a brand new coach, start with the people that love and trust you if they're seeing that like you are absolutely loving this, that you are absolutely thriving and have energy and seeing results, like they're going to want that too, unless you're like hiding it and keeping it to yourself. So make sure you just like, don't be afraid to say like, hey, you should come do this with me. Like, this is really, really cool. And if you are maybe kind of out, like past your friends and family, like all know this, you've asked them all then branch out and start sending those invites and those messages that seem a little scary. Uh, but that is how you're going to continue reaching more and more people. So I am going to stop recording. Let me do that. I might have to stop sharing. And I'm going to leave it open for any questions.